Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today we're going to be dealing with another SCCM 2012 R2 video and it's all about customizing and configuring an anti-malware policy within your infrastructure. So let's get started. So we need to get into the assets and compliance section of the SCCM uh, 2012 R2 manager. We need to go inside our endpoint protection. Uh, I'm going to click on that folder to expand it and we need to get into the anti-malware policy section. So once you click on that, we want to get to the to the home tab right here and click on create anti-wear policy. You're going to get this nice little dialog box to start configuring the policy. So let's give it a name. And what we are going to be doing is uh, endpoint protection uh, anti-malware policy. OK. And the two things that we're going to be focused on this video is schedule scan and definition updates okay and we're going to click okay awesome so once our uh policy is created we want to configure it uh we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to properties and within properties let's go to schedule scan now within the schedule scan uh you can configure it the way you want it i'm going to configure it to do daily for my infrastructure and I want to start it around 12 o'clock, which is around lunchtime. Uh, I'm going to change this no into yes. I do want it to check for the latest definition updates before running a scan. This is a plus because you want to have the fresh definition updates be pushed out to the client before it starts any scan, which is a good thing. And once we're done with that, again, you could, got, you could go over all these settings and configure it the way that you want it for your infrastructure. Again, I'm only going to change scan day, scan time. And I changed the check for the latest definition updates before running a scan. Those are from my settings for my environment. I kind of recommend actually changing this. This is a plus, but for the day and time, that's really up to you. Uh, click on definition updates. And again, you got to go over all this right here for you to configure it to fit on your environment. For me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything as default, but I'm going to click on set source and I'm going to make sure that the updates are being pulled from the configuration manager. I don't want it to be pulled from the WSUS or Microsoft updates or Microsoft malware protection center. So we're going to check these off. I don't want these guys. The only one that I want is basically this guy. Okay. We are going to click. Okay. Then once that's set up, we're going to click. Okay. To get out of the dialog box. And the next thing that we need to do is deploy it. So it's really easy to deploy. So right click on your policy and just hit deploy. And you're going to get a nice little dialog box to select your collection. And the collection that I'm going to be pushing this policy out is my Windows 10 machines. So I'm going to pick my collection and just click OK. And that's it. So once the machines on the floor, the clients on the machines on the floor start talking to your SCCM, uh, that policy is going to be pushed out to them. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about subscribing to get the latest and greatest tips, tricks, and hacks from this guy. And uh, also hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next SCCM, which is going to be an awesome one. Uh, peace out.